So, Anna. Hi. Yeah. Who are you? What do you do? So I'm Anna Laura. I'm working for MSF Sweden Innovation Units. So okay. I'm the project manager there. Fantastic. And yeah. why are you here? What are you showing us today? So I'm showing a uh, this piece of work. That's very small. Yeah. So it's a cold chain indicator. A cold chain indicator, yeah. all right. Um, so what it does is it monitors quite a complex process. At MSF, uh, the process we use to bring medicines, lab products, uh, vaccines into the field, really to the furthest, most remote areas, it's quite a complex one. It involves a lot of information, a lot of people, and a lot of little steps. Um, what we have right now is a set of tools that in fact are quite inconsistent and insufficient to properly monitor. So these are the existing tools. As an ex logger I know these tools very well. Uh, this is the, uh, yeah, yeah, these are the 3M, the log tag and the freeze tag. So this is what MSF currently uses and you're proposing to replace these by this. I am, I am, at least in a stage, uh, in a stage way. Um, so what you're looking here is at an indicator, a monitoring device that is attached to single packages. Okay, so this used before, this used to be just one group of uh, monitoring devices for the whole box or something like right. that. Right, so what now they do is they're, they're, fit, they're fit in here and they okay. represent, they're sort of representative to all the boxes that are inside of the oh. whole box. And this is now down to the individual package too? Yes, okay. which allows us two things. One, much more um, specific data because okay. now you're monitoring and providing an indication of so what's happening in reality and what that means for that, sp that specific product. Mm -hmm. This is now possible. And another thing is we can monitor the whole process. From A to Z. All the Z. way. From so right from the, the moment they leave the manufacturer into the, the arm. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Or mouth or however it's yeah. demonstrated. So, Anna, so, can you show me? I mean, I'm a simple doctor and I, I don't really understand the logistics aspects of the cold chain. But can you maybe just show me what you're actually collecting on, on this? Sure. What information? Well, yeah. Let me show you actually the back side of it. Uh -huh. It looks like this. You can feel it and touch it. It's so this is thin. printed electronics, okay. whatever that is. Yes. Yeah. It's a demonstrator, so it's not a complete product just yet. Yeah. Um, but we're working on that. We've been mm -hmm. doing um, together with, I mean, leading partners on, on the field of printed electronics and printing labels. We've been working together with mm -hmm. them. Uh, to develop this technology. It's does quite it cost a the earth or does it cost not much? We're working so that it costs just Less. not much. Okay, okay, no, all right. Let's spend a bit of money now and then we learn <laughs> and then we get the prices down later. All right, okay. It, it, it does pr prove a lot of better. What we're doing now is a lot of blind, uh, blind medication. In the field, with the right? current we system. We don't have a good idea okay. of what's happening with specific medications. You as a medic, um, as a doctor, as a nurse, are about to use this medication and you don't know what happened. And although our logistics are doing the best they can, it's really difficult to keep track on that. These are about 200 different products that we're uh, transporting to the field. Mm -hmm. And so there's still a couple of challenges to deal with, namely how you actually uh, take this, use the specific information of each product, something that manufacturers know that we still uh, don't. And so that's part of our advocacy as well. Fantastic. And so where are you in the development of the project? If that, this is a, a prototype, you're going to the field soon to play with it? Yes, we will. So um, as we speak, we're now printing the integrated version of this. What we're missing is you can see here uh, the interface. It's a pretty simple interface. We've been going iteratively uh, talking to the field staff. Do I staff. press it? How does it work? No, you don't press it. It's just, it's uh, it's going to be programmed with the cell phone. Like okay. Oh, look at that. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. with specific just information that and it then needs the... to react to. And then it's going to be attached to the box and goes its own way, all the way to the end point of use. Okay. And so how, um, do you, how do you see this being used? Do you, do you see one of these being attached to every box or yes, a handful of boxes? or? No, no. One to, to every box, one okay. to every product. So that's the, the idea that the nurse in the end of the way knows what the quality of this process is. And then at the end of the cold chain, how do you get that information back? How do you know? In the end, we'll, we're setting up an antenna so that we can actually know what happens. So we know pretty much the same information as you have here. And we're doing an extra step forward on how to actually communicate that information in an easy way to make decision making easier. Okay. So we're transforming the way we're presenting this information as well. Fantastic. Great. Okay, well, good luck with the first test. Where are you going? At, uh, we don't know yet. We're looking know. for You're partners. Looking for, okay, so partners, anybody want to test this uh, in the field? In now the field. is your time to... Uh, well, I hope today during the networking session you'll find somebody sufficiently excited yeah, to we accept... Yeah, we have already uh, quite some interested partners, but no answers just yet. So. Fantastic. Yeah. Great. Good luck. Thanks a lot. Aileen.